Hey guys, welcome to another video. Welcome to the last video of 2023 for me on this channel. Yeah, <laughs> obviously. Uh, I hope y'all had a good Christmas. I hope y'all had a good holiday season. I, I know I did. I'm really exhausted and I'm not feeling well, but I want to talk about 2024. It's coming up. Uh, there's a lot of big movies coming out, and I thought I'd just briefly talk about a bunch that are coming out. I'm not going to talk about every movie coming out in 2024, plus, you know, sometimes scheduled dates happen, and sometimes maybe some of the movies I'm going to be talking about, they might not come out in 2024. But uh, these are the listings for 2024 films. I'm just going to run through a lot of them and just give my quick opinions if I'm excited, not excited, or just kind of met on them, so... Let's just get to it. I'm just gonna no no particular order. Just gonna run through a bunch. Let's talk about Deadpool three. Deadpool three is well, it's the sequel to Deadpool two, which was kind of okay. It's definitely not as good as the first Deadpool, but this one like it's really relying on Hugh Jackman because this is what everyone wanted: Wolverine and Deadpool in a movie together. Even though we kind of got it. <laughs> uh. I am looking forward to it. I'm going to give it a thumbs up. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I am very cautious, though, because the breaking the fourth wall silly comedy thing has almost kind of, like, worn thin now because there's just other movies that have been doing it, and it's kind of getting annoying. But if they can find a unique and fresh way to do it and bring it back to being funny again, then I'm all for it. I love the first Deadpool. second one was just okay. Hopefully this one is a banger. Uh, Madame Web. <laughs> this looks shit. I, if I'm wrong, then I'm wrong. But this looks awful. <laughs> I saw that trailer. It looks like a CW show, but it's a full fa full feature film. Uh, Dakota Johnson, I know she can be talented. Man, she looks awful. This looks terrible. And I know this is finally the female Spider-Man movie. Oh, man, She's, it's like, it's giving me, like, Batwoman vibes, or, <laughs> it looks terrible, I'm sorry, just, based off the trailer alone, it looks horrible, Pfft, not excited, uh, Beetlejuice 2, Beetlejuice 2 is, um, you know, for a long time, for almost 20 years, they've been in talks of making another Beetlejuice, because, uh, the original Beetlejuice was a massive hit in 1988, and just Michael Keaton crushes it, Tim Burton, that really put Tim Burton on the map, man, like, and I definitely would love to see a, what a modern Beetlejuice would look like, uh, it could be the shittiest thing ever, or fucking great, I don't know, but it's Michael Keaton, he's coming back, Winona Ryder, uh, it could be really good, if they go really dark and twisted with it, then fuck yeah, sign me up for Beetlejuice too. Uh, Gladiator 2. <laughs> Are they running out of ideas or what? A Gladiator 2. Uh, I don't know why they're doing this. The first Gladiator is just a timeless masterpiece. Really, Scott killed the direction in that movie. Russell Crowe, amazing. This Massimus Decis Marius. Uh, Joaquin Phoenix, this Commodus is great. That movie's just fucking amazing. What an epic story. I don't know what they're going to do with this. I know Denzel's in it, and I love me some Denzel, but I'm just, I'm not excited. I don't care. Uh, Dune Part 2. Okay, I actually am excited for Dune Part 2 because I know, like, I wasn't, like, in love with the first part of Dune. It's because it's not a complete story, and if the complete story is riveting, I'm probably going to love Dune Part 1 more, but... That being said, if this doesn't stick the landing, then I'm just like, I guess I'm not a Dune fan. But uh, it's Denis Villeneuve. The guy knows what he's doing. He knows sci-fi. He knows good characters, good storytelling. So I'm excited for Dune Part 2. So let's go. Joker 2. What the fuck are they doing? You know, I, I said in my last video, why are they remaking things into musicals? And now they're making a Joker sequel into a musical. Well, Lady Gaga is Harley Quinn. I actually don't think that's a bad casting choice, but why are they making it a musical? Just No, I don't want to see that. That's stupid. Inside Out 2. Inside Out 2, I, I've always said they should, they've always should have made a sequel to Inside Out. There's a lot of ideas you can go with. 
like Riley hitting puberty and stuff. And honestly, if they go the proper way, like because the first Inside Out is a timeless story. It's very well done. It's very well written. And I think Inside Out is just, it's such a good, compelling story. And if they go too modern with it, and I know Disney can't help themselves. Like, you saw what they did with Turning Red. Like, if they go too pandering or too much heaviness with messaging or something, it's not going to work. So they need, they need to do it right. And if they do it right, I'm very excited for it. But this is Disney, so they can't help themselves sometimes. Craven the Hunter now. Let's go with Craven the Hunter. <laughs> Oh my god, if this is anything like Morbius, this is going to be dog shit. Um, but it's R-rated. It could work. I don't know. Like The trailer seemed okay. Uh, I'm going to go meh. Meh. Who knows? It might be a sleeper hit and just might be like an amazing film. <laughs> uh, Despicable Me 4. Why are they still making these movies? <laughs> the first Despicable Me was great, but then they made sequels and prequels and spinoffs, and just I'm fucking tired of these movies. Just I know they, I know they're for kids, but no. Um, Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes. Okay, this is the first Planet of the Apes movie with no Andy Serkis as Caesar. We don't got Matt Reeves in the directing. Uh, the Planet of the Apes trilogy uh, with Rise, Dawn, and War were just so good and such a great trilogy, and it ended so well. I don't know why they continued with the story. I know it's but Caesar's son, and we, we got Maurice and Bad Ape. I love those characters. There's great characters in these movies, but like, I don't know. Are they beating a dead horse? Like, I don't know. Like, War for Planet of the Apes ended so beautifully. I, I, I'm still gonna see it. I'm still gonna. Give it a thumbs up, but I'm very cautious about that, though. Mean Girls, home. Again, oh, my God. I love Mean Girls. I love it. Mean Girls is one of the best teen high school comedies ever written. It is so funny. It's so great. Love the characters. I think Tina Fey did an amazing job with that screenplay. They're remaking it for some reason and making it a musical and... Just stop. Just stop. Hollywood, stop doing this. Get some fucking originality and some fucking creativity in ya. Like, pfft. Stupid. Uh, then we got Furiosa and the Mad, a Mad Max. A Mad Max story or saga, whatever. Okay, I love Furiosa. She's a great character. You got Anya Taylor Joy. Like, th th this could work. And I, I am getting sick of sequels and prequels and spinoffs, but it's Mad Max, George Miller. I I'll watch it, of course. <laughs> Mufasa the Lion King. Oh, my God. I don't want to see any more of these stupid CGI lions, and I don't care. They're like, oh, they're going to go to the backstory of Mufasa. I don't give a shit. I don't care about the backstory of Mufasa. The original animated Lion King is all we ever needed. Just, just stop it, Disney. Leave the good stories alone. <sighs> okay, let's talk about original story. The Fall Guy. This looks fun. I, 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 I think this looks cool. A director and an action star has to actually be in a real action scenario. It looks funny. And I, I like the actors involved. This actually seems like a fun time. Like, I, I'll check that out. Then we got Wicked Part 1. Um... I know I've just been smack-talking musicals, but I actually saw Wicked the play when I was a young kid with, uh... Uh, Dina Menzel. Um, I loved it. I loved the Broadway show, and I think it's a great story. And I've always wondered if they were ever going to make a film adaptation of the Broadway show Wicked. And they are, and honestly, if it's done right, fucking right, sign me up. I think it's going to be great. We'll see, though. <laughs> and then we got Sonic the Hedgehog 3. Believe it or not, I'm excited because it's bringing in Shadow, which is cool, and I've actually liked all these Sonic movies. I never thought I'd like any of these stupid Sonic movies, but they've actually been shockingly good. So, yeah. Let's bring on more Sonic. <laughs> uh, 
Oh my god, what else is there? I'm looking on here. Um, oh yeah, the King Kong and Godzilla movie. After Godzilla minus one, I don't want to see an American Godzilla movie anymore. Just like, fucking, they, they don't know how to do it. Like, like how the, no, I'm not excited now. Then they're doing another Garfield movie, but animated. I know it's supposed to be like for kids and it's all cutesy wootsy and stuff. I'm not really excited. I, I, I don't. I was never a Garfield fan, so. Then we have Ghostbusters sequel. What's it called? Frozen Empire? This I'm excited for. I liked Ghostbusters Afterlife. I thought that was a lot of fun and I thought it was a. A good, like, passing of the torch without, like, insulting the legacy characters. You know, something Star Wars is terrible at. But I, I, I'm i very curious to see where they go with the story. I really am. I, I, I really want to know what's going to happen with these characters and if they're going to bring more of the legacy characters. But, yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited for a new uh, uh, Ghostbusters movie. Uh, then we got Bob Marley, One Love. This could be great. If it's anything like Bohemian Rhapsody, it's going to be shit, but uh, I love Bob Marley. I think he's a, an amazing musician, beautiful voice, and a whole biopic about him sounds great. Fucking right, sign me up. Uh, more Strata Compton, less Bohemian Rhapsody. Thank you. <laughs> oh, yeah, they're making another Knives Out movie. Oh, God. I, I'm not a fan of these, like, Knives Out films. They're, just, they're not for me. I'm sorry. Um... Some of the rest of these movies are just all speculation, so I'm just going to talk about Roadhouse. It's Roadhouse. It's Doug Lyman directing, starring Jake Gyllenhaal. I have, a, like, sort of a fun, guilty pleasure for the original Swayze uh, action romp that is Roadhouse, but Jake Gyllenhaal and Doug Lyman. Doug Lyman's a very talented director. He can really direct and craft great action sequences, and Jake Gyllenhaal is a great actor, so honestly, I'm excited. I'd love to see what they would do with a with a remake of Roadhouse. Please do not make it like the Point Break remake, though. For the love of fucking God. So, yeah, that was a bunch of 2024 films I talked about very quickly. Uh, let me know in the comments below, what 2024 film are you the most excited to see? Let me know. Comment below, let me know. And as always, if you like this video, please subscribe to this channel and join the dark side.